So here we have the Hyundai Tucson Automatic on a 67 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. Uh, but from the outside you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the back of the car you can see we have uh, reversing sensors. This car's also got a reversing camera. Plenty of boot space along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat. And then underneath this tray section, a full-size alloy spare wheel. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. And now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer and fuel gauge. In the middle, you can see the total miles for this car, which is 16,320. Above that, we have a digital readout for the speedometer. You can change that information using a button on the steering wheel for various bits of trip computer and car information, but there are other menus available as well. So satellite navigation, your lane assist, your audio menu, car settings and user settings and then we're back around to the beginning again and the buttons that i was using to do that are just here we've also got cruise control and speed limiter over that side of the steering wheel on the left hand side we have stereo and phone controls uh, and stereo controls just above it the phone controls can only be used after such time as you pair the phone up which is done over in the center just here hit the phone button and then you'd hit add new we're going to hit cancel for now when it comes to music in this car, we have the radio, of course, and you can see we have DAB, AM and FM radio. Hit media to listen to your own music. Nothing is connected at the moment. You can connect up an auxiliary device, a USB device and stream your music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio as well. So plenty of ways uh, in which to listen to your music in this car. And if I pop it in reverse, you'll see that full color reversing camera that I mentioned a moment ago. Uh, with guidelines showing you what direction the car is headed in in relation to the image being shown on the screen so it does make it very easy to park we've also got satellite navigation accessed via these buttons just here there's a full video that shows how that works on both our website and on our youtube channel we have dual zone climate control so you can adjust the temperature on either side of the car you can increase and decrease the fan speed and determine where you'd like the air to be distributed within the car when you're happy with those settings the air conditioning is off or back on again or hit auto the car will now take control of the fan speed and the direction of the air to maintain the temperatures you've asked for. You can hear it doing that. You can override that whenever you wish to. With a heated driver's seat and heated passenger seat, both with three different heat settings each. Below that, we have two 12-volt charging sockets as well as the auxiliary and USB inputs I mentioned a moment ago. The gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. We have an electronic handbrake with auto hold function. You can turn the parking sensors on and off from here. Drive mode will put the car in, and I can show you up here, in sport, or it takes sport off again. And the remaining button turns on downhill brake control, which is that green symbol to the right, and that'll turn that back off again. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.